Huh, Porter Thunk. I actually start off a video as Sonic. Who knew? <laughs> Technically, I am playing as Sonic, but eh, what are you gonna do? Hello there, everybody. This is See What the Plant One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. So, last time, we went through the oh so long rooftop run night level. Yeah. And again, I'm just gonna warn you not the worst offender. <laughs> So, now we get to explore around, uh, I almost said Soliana. Uh, this is not Sonic 06, what the hell? <laughs> um, so now we get to explore around, well, Spagonia in the daytime. We got all these little, you know, alleyways that we can go to. And, of course, since I only have, like, two out of the, uh, two out of the four moon medals that I, that I can get in this, uh, town, or village as they call it, I'm gonna have to go over there and get the medals because I'm gonna need them and I can't get on this Ryan, Ryan Grail. Yeah. Because I totally needed a pronunciation error. <laughs> ah, I pronounce things wrong. Who cares? I do that all the time anyway. Because I know Kentaku. But fortunately, uh, according to my thing, I only need two of these. And would you look at that? I already have all of them in what? What? Okay. <laughs> I got stuck on a rail for like half a second there. <laughs> oh man, this game. <laughs> so anyway, uh, now that Amy is knowing about our little condition, let's talk to her. What do you say? I still can't believe you transformed to that thing. <laughs> but no matter what the package, you're still my Sonic Sonic. Aw, that's cute. You got a little music notes there. <laughs> that's because characters have expressions. Who knew? And you wouldn't think that Amy would actually have the hots for Sonic, but she does, but not in Sonic Boom, because that is obviously a lot better. Actually, it's more subdued in Sonic Boom now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, somehow Amy's obsession got more in check in the Sonic Boom cartoon, and I do appreciate it for that. But anyway, uh, as I studied on the internet, uh, I mean, I remembered. Hmm. Uh, so, what we need to do now is we need to go speak to Professor Pickle about the thing and stuff. Yes, let's talk about the planet. Sonic, Sonic my boy, I managed to pinpoint another Gaia Temple location. The manuscript suggests a temple lies somewhere in Chunan, or Chunan, whatever. You know it, yes? You should see it on the world map. Sonic. Now, make haste, Sonic. Get a Chaos Emerald to that temple, my boy. Yes, my boy. I, 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 I do indeed I do indeed think that it is such a very good idea. I, 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 I believe so. Yes, I do, because I do believe it's a good idea. <laughs> what am I doing? Ah, oh, man, no. I, I, I love that voice. I don't care. I don't care what anyone says. I love British accents. They're so great, which is why Xenoblade is, my, is the best game aside from Majora's Mask. And also, I went very fast. <laughs> ah, boy. But anyway, now we're going to be getting into a brand new continent. Yeah, I know. Already. Can you believe it? <laughs> I can believe it. <laughs> but in which case, we are going to Chunan. Yay. New continent. Also, get ready for some Kung Fu Panda shit. <laughs> Just saying. It's the music, man. Okay, that's enough listening, but trust me, there are going to be some moments where I just stop and just hear the music because as, as, as if I didn't, as if this music wasn't any indication enough, I love this soundtrack <laughs> so much. <laughs> well, especially when we get to, well, Chunan Night, because oh boy, you ain't hurt nothing yet. 
Anyway, we gotta talk to this lady, Lin. Welcome to Chanen! I only regret that I am not able to give the two of you a proper welcome. Why? What's wrong? You would never expect Sonic to say, What's wrong? And, oh well. <laughs> yeah, this game has like really weird choices. Kind of like an RPG. Sort of. But anyway, what she's saying right here is that the village elder has gone missing. And we gotta look for him, man. <laughs> Sonic, what are you doing? You're making me sound like a dick. <laughs> Which is another thing I should probably watch out for in, color in, in Chronicles whenever I get to play that. He's getting all misty-eyed, but yes. Uh, you must head for the entrance stage at once. Okay, just leave it to me. Be careful and don't try anything rash. Well, whatever. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't care. I don't care, mate. <laughs> but, but regardless of which, uh, we're not gonna go there just yet. What I do. What I want to do first is I want to go ahead and switch over to night. Because of course, there are some medals to collect at night, and of course this means you get to hear the oh so relaxing music of Chun and Night, which is being obscured by a waterfall. Ah, oh, man, this music. <laughs> I just love it. Anyway, some metal right there. And, uh, wait. Let's see. I'm trying to remember where the other one is. Because I know there's, like, an, an, I know there's another one, like, probably some... Oh, it's right there. Okay. Okay. So, now that we have both metals, actually... Um, before we get to do that, I want to go ahead and go over here. Actually, no, I can't. <laughs> Great. I can't, I can't go anywhere because things are happening and I, and I don't want to, I don't want to do that. But, uh, you might have saw there before I went ahead and talked to the person. Um, you can press Y to take photos. That's going to be the thing for this when you have the uncanny camera. Uh... Like I just like I said before, uh, whenever you see like swirlies above like people's heads, if they have some sort of problems or something, uh, you're gonna get you're gonna get hints towards that when they talk to you and you see those swirlies. Um, that basically means they got a little problem, and of course, you use Photoshop. <laughs> you use the Photoshop in order to fix the problems, but it's not just a thing. No, it is not. It's beating the ever-loving crap out of people. <laughs> yeah, like those right there. You go, you can go ahead and take a picture of that just to get the dark eye of things out. Which I just realized I spoiled. <laughs> I don't care. That's, there, 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 there's really no other way to describe it other than just dark eye stuff. <laughs> you can't come through here. Out of the question. Too dangerous. You cannot pass without Lin's permission, but I already got Lin's permission, you, you, you stoop, stupid, god, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, I, I was just at the tail end of my thought right there, like, yeah, but anyway, here we are at the entrance stage to, uh, the Chunan levels, so, Hey. Okay. Yeah, it's so pretty. You don't even know, guys. Like, I mean, daytime is pretty, you know, Chinese standard enough, you know, just... Or Asian standard, probably. But just taking a look at it at night, it, it, it just really makes me wish I could go to, like, the countries that inspire, like... Yeah, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> in case you couldn't tell, like, uh, going into that, actually, um... The continents themselves, they are indeed based off of real-world countries. Like, of course, Chunan is based off of China, Missouri is based off of Africa, Abitos is based off of, you know, Greece and other such things around it, and uh, Spagonia is more like France and Italy or something like that, but, although I get a more French uh, feeling from it, I guess. It's kind of going back to my thought, like, uh... Like, uh, Chun- Wait, like, uh, no, 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 I'm not Chun- Uh, Spagonia was basically running through my head, like, whenever I visited France, like, a few years ago. I was just playing the, uh, Spagonia theme all the time. Or most likely the rooftop run thing on my iPod. 
Because you could do that back then. <laughs> um, it's just a bit of fair warning right now, but I don't want to exactly um, tackle the dragon road level yet. Yeah, no, spoiler alert, the thing. Yeah, spoiler alert, the level is called Dragon Road. <laughs> um, I don't exactly want to tackle the, uh, the dragon road level quite yet. because Well, I have a very good reason for that. I have an extremely legitimately good reason for that. One is that the level goes on for fucking ever. <laughs> and, of course, I want to explore this place because, well, if you look at that, of course, we have medals to collect. And, of course, I'm going to be searching around for them because, again, you need the medals in order to do the thing, in order to get the thing done so you can go ahead and do the thing. Also, there's collectibles that you have to get as well. Such as the art books and the other stuff. And all that other great stuff for the fun. You know, just for the fun of it, you know. But anyway, we got a moon medal right there, and I have to sight all along the wall in order to get such a thing. But it's also supply uh, aside from the point, because you can... Because now we actually get to listen to this theme. Which, I've been listening to it a bit recently, and it is so good. It's too good, man. <laughs> like, it kind of goes to my thing about Sonic Unleashed music. It's like, you know, the village themes are absolutely great, and they're so atmospheric, and they just fit into whatever, you know, country they're in, you know? Like, uh, Apatos is more Greek-sounding, like I've been saying. Uh, Spagonia's got that uh, French-Italian thing going on. Um, Missouri's got that African style. And, of course, uh, Chunan is more Asian themed, like Chinese or Japanese or whatever. I'm getting more of a Chinese feel than that, but what exactly are you going to do about that? So, anyway, I'm going to switch to the daytime because I want to collect the medals there. So anyway, um, we could go up there right now, but unfortunately, here's the thing. We do not have the ability to scale up walls yet. We're going to have to go back for that a bit later on, because that is a thing in Unleashed. Yeah, Sonic can't learn, doesn't have all his abilities naturally. He has to get items so that he can learn those abilities. Odd, but it's a thing. But, whatever the case. Uh, I do believe there's a thing over here, should you get here. Oh yeah, it's just a thing to another level, alright. Um, speaking of which, actually, um, about these, uh, extra levels that I keep on mentioning. Yeah, there are indeed extra levels, and I died. And yep, one criticism to the hub worlds. You can actually lose lives. <laughs> I don't get that. I mean, it's like... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lose more lives in the hub worlds than I am in the actual levels. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I'm just wasting time, but I have a legitimately good reason for wasting time because the left... Are, the, because, the left because the Warhog levels are, like, longer than I anticipated. And they shouldn't be, but whatever. Um, Yeah, that's the one kind of criticism I have with the hub worlds, is that... Somehow, I don't know how they did it, but they made it so that you can actually lose lives in the hub worlds. Like, you accidentally uh, fall into the water while boosting. That can happen in Halaska too, by the way. And, yeah, you can die. <laughs> I don't get how that happens, or why that happens, but okay. But, I don't really see... I don't really... See think that we can get any sort of um, medals right here and now, so I might as well just go ahead and switch to nighttime. But yeah, that's one thing that Sonic 06 kinda sorta got right. Even if you're in the hub worlds, you can't lose lives if you accidentally fall down to your doom. So, I guess that's good. I suppose. I suppose. Eh? You know? I'm Stewie Griffin. <laughs> Ah, uh, but whatever. Whatever. Not like it matters to me. 
But regardless of which, uh, one more thing before I stop this episode. Yeah, I know, kind of early, I know, but these levels have been long, and these videos have gone long, and I wanted to keep it short, but it's just that the levels go on for long, man. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention is that, uh, I was talking to Professor Pickle right there. One thing that I kind of wanted to do, or uh, that I should do, is that you talk to Professor Pickle, he gives you an idea of where you should go next. And, uh, the, yeah, that's kind of sort of one criticism with, uh, Sonic Unleashed that, uh, doesn't really bring that often, but... Even though I don't find it in like, bothering, like, that much to me... Um, I still think it's a really, like, odd decision to just, like, you know, you go to Professor Pickle, he should tell you where to go next. Uh, it's... It, I, I don't really get... I don't really get why that happens, it's, it's really weird. And look at that, I just so happened to stumble across the moon metal I need. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if you don't have any idea of where you're supposed to go, I think the game will tell you if you should go back to the professor or not. Then again, there is no story memo or something like that, but... Eh, what are you gonna do about that? What are you gonna do? But, regardless of which, we are going to stop this episode here. I know, a video where we don't go through a level. I know, it's really strange, but... These videos have gone on long enough as it is. I need to keep things short. <laughs> I really do. So, with that being said, next time on Let's Play Sonic Unleashed, we are going to go ahead and tackle this next level as to where how I go. Oh boy, get ready for another long one. Even though I kind of sort of studied. <laughs> And I shouldn't have a long time with this one. Probably. No promises. <laughs> okay, so see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.